35 and 0. Let's block the pawn, develop the knight, supporting the pawn. Ooh, and bring the bishop, trying to prevent the fried liver, but they still can attack the king if they're feeling brave. Let's develop the knight. Castle. Okay, I was thinking of trying something a little bit different because we always leave this bad bishop here, don't we? Maybe we lose tempo if we're thinking of bringing the bishop here because the pawn just drops down. Yeah, we might lose a bit of tempo. Just continue. It's really no point attacking the bishop because as we know the pawn takes and then the bishop doesn't take back. It's a bit of an ugly position. I think the computer likes that but I don't like the look of it. I'm gonna go for it. Let's practice what we don't like doing. It's just annoying, it just doesn't feel right but let's go with it. If we can break it down as to why we don't like it. It just doesn't, it feels like I'm doing left, left hand driving or doing something in the opposite side. So grab. And the bishop never really takes, on the odd occasion they will do, but very, very rare. So it's not disadvantage, but it just doesn't feel right. Oh, I suppose it depends on what the opponent does next. What what am I fearful of? So X-ray through to the queen. So we've got the minor pieces out. Then we can bring the knight back again or attack the bishop. But it's on the other side of the board. So we're going all the way across the other side of the board for them to simply go, well, I'll just move it here. So we could bring it back, giving our king some company. It does feel like it's blocking our already bad bishop. This pawn's protected by the bishop, so the knight could jump here and get a two on one. So I'm going to bring the knight across, trying to make it a bit active. Trying not to block the bad bishop, it's already bad as it is. Maybe it just stays here, acting as a pawn. So the knight's now considering probably moving here so that the queen is defending the pawn. It can go there obviously and it can go back where it came from. Up to attacking the pawn twice, but this bishop has got the x-ray through, so we could take the pawn, attacking the bishop and the rook. So I'm holding my breath now because I'm thinking it feels like we've done an okay job with the opening we don't like. I'm still looking for the negative side of things. But at the minute it's looking fairly positive. We are plus one. But are, are we, whoa, are we really 
Rooks don't have any place in centre of the ball, but it is attacking our bishop. We're already attacking their bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, bringing the bishop back, attacking the rook. Where we're sending the rook to, he's not going to come across here, he's not going to go there, he's not going to go there. Does he go and attack the knight? Yeah, just moves up and attacks the knight. Is that the thing? Is that the thing? We've got the pawn here. Oh, we can't move the pawn because the bishop's got the x-ray through to the king. Ooh. Queen could go up and defend the bishop. Nothing else is there. No fancy knight could block. Or we could just take the bishop. Then he takes our bishop. Oh, let's attack the rook. They said they'll go and attack. We do have two pieces defending there, even if they go there, but then this knight can move, and then he's got three pieces attacking. So in that combination, I think we just simply take the bishop off the board, don't we? The reason I'm hesitating is because this looks like a good knight, and I'm taking their bad bishop off the board, it looks like. Because it's all jammed in. So I'm trying to search to see if there's any magic. Pawn supporting. Just kind of blocking our bishop. This knight's going to get active as well. Let's take the bishop off the board. He's got a 2 on, two on 1 here with his knight. And his rook. So does he take that first? Knight takes, can bring the bishop here, attacking the um, rook. Does he have a fork? So he does go for that. So we could attack the rook now, because the rook is not going to be taking the pawn. So they'll just go back either to here or to here. Then we've got like a two on one. He's got his knight protecting. Mm -mm -mm. Could always bring the bishop back again. X ray through to the queen. Rook comes and attacks it again. We don't want them apples, do we? So what do we do? Could, can't do that. We can bring the bishop here to defend. Make it do something. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Just bring the bishop here. Lots of options and choices. Okay, the knight's in, and it might be one of those situations where we have to take the knight because it's doing something, it's attacking the bishop, and if we let it go, the queen would take, still looking for this two-on-one -on -one situation. Mm. And we can't attack the rook because he's got two knights on there. Just x-ray through, takes, queen takes. Could just take the queen off the board. I think that's what we'll do, take the queen off the board with the check. Might double the pawns or might just bring it back. Was thinking of just attacking the rook. If we move, this knight moves, or we can just take this knight off the board and then go for the exchange of the rooks. That rook 
It's probably going to go back because it has no place in the centre of the board. It's hard to move. What did I say? Going to just trade down. We are plus one. And just going to attack the rook. Obviously, it doesn't mean you've won anything because you're plus one. Could easily turn out to be a draw. Or they might get an advantage. Because equal, equal minor pieces. So they could just end up, you know, the king could just block this pawn and we have no movements. Let's hit the bishop. Hit the bishop. Move the knight, try and make it a bit active. Maybe a nice square here. Obviously, that's attacking the bishop, but it can move anywhere. So, I don't really want to block this pawn. Next move is going to be a king move, I bet you. The issue we've got is that these pawns really don't have any defenders. So if they start working some magic with the knight. He's got my pawn. So it's going to be backwards and forwards. We could go here, but we will get hit. So we may as well go here. If we manage, I'm not sure we're going to. Uh, it's blocked off already. Okay, so we do have a dark square bishop ourselves. So I think it's time to not to move that just yet. Let's just push this. It's time to get the king somewhere, supporting some sort of attacks here, if we can. Be looking to get a 2 on 1 with his knight, that's what I'm thinking anyway. So, somehow getting it around, getting it to there, and then it's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn. So, we need to get our king here defending. not going for that yet it's setting things up let's move the king hopefully they see that pattern too late they think in getting their king around here somehow in round the back maybe not because they can't get in there Just pushing pawn, so he's looking to just hit, take, take. Yeah, okay, gonna just keep moving. Maybe is there any danger? Don't move so quick. Put the king here. He pushes, so we have to take. 
then the take and our bishop would be trapped aha so we have to if we're going to do that we need to move here and if they continue doing that when they take then they take then the bishop can move back but then we lose this pawn Ooh. oh 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 so oh 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 attack the pawn takes we take that's what we need to do. Good job, we slowed that down. Let's push here. Could take with the bishop. Knight takes, pawn takes. It'll be on a dark square so the bishop can't get to it. But he does have this that can come in the middle. Options and choices, what do we do? Go for the exchange down. Because our bishop is just going to be stuck behind these pawns. Defending them forever. But if we did take, his knight can take this pawn. So it would be plus one, capturing. Then he'd get it back with this pawn. Then he's attacking this twice. I think we're going to have to go with the simpler option of just keeping the bishop here. Try and get the king up supporting. And maybe we can move the bishop out of the way. Let's go here. And then get this pawn pushed up maybe. <laughs> See, I really wanted to get my king here, didn't I? So I could push up onto this pawn. His king's not getting in there, but he's going to push onto this pawn. He's faster than me. If I move now, he pushes. Takes, takes. He gets into the game. Okay, if I move my king, he pushes. Move the knight. Knight's not being able to help, is it? Hmm. <laughs> Shall we just leave it? Bring the bishop here. Try, trying to get it into the game, but it's a little bit blocked here. Bring that there. Then he pushes, we push this pawn, supporting the pawns. If he takes, takes, but it's on a white square. We don't really want it on a white square because it's got a bishop. Do have this pawn that can support. Ooh, tricky times, tricky times. Looks like we're going to lose out with these pawns being on the white squares. Let's go here. Let's do let's do it. I was thinking if he does that, we could do this, couldn't we? But then if he does take, we take and we lose the pawn. We need to do that. We're about to move behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, move behind to do what we want to do. Attacking. We go there, but then he could just drop down and block the bishop. But you would think that he would take because that keeps this pawn on a white square. The knight's moving already, coming to cause some trouble, so maybe we hit now. I 
thinking the thinking just doing this we take takes 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 would be a massive take fest no what is with the check can't bring the king here he goes backwards and forwards checking checking Okay, what's this? Not a move we're expecting, so attacking the king, closing this off. But it is on the white square again, which is a shame. I think probably taking, it's not going to make any difference to these white squares here. Mm. Push the pawn, just supporting. In the meantime, I think we need to do something actually. Put the check on. Oh, damn white square. Look at this bishop here. It can just come here and attack this pawn. We come here. Then it just... There is... Oh. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Take... Maybe they take. Hmm. Check. King moves. King moves. So pass it there. Could just block this bishop from getting down here. I'm going to block the bishop from getting down there because, I mean... The pawns are finished, aren't they, if it gets down here? Oh, it's taken the knight. What do we lose out? Knight can jump here. Don't want to double the pawns at this stage of the game, do we? Oh no, what have I missed? So the king's just sitting in front of the pawn, just blocking it off. That's the extra pawn that we've got. So now the knight's work, gonna work its magic. Flexible knight against a kind of blocked in bishop should actually give them some advantage. Our king is so far over here. We'd have to bring this here and try and support these pawns because the knight's just gonna come round. Be a slow process, but it's going to attempt to come round. How does it do it? Maybe not that way. Right there. Yeah, look at that. In here. Dancing around. That type of stuff. Be a long process, but it's doable because they've got flexible knight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh dear me, they can hear me. So that's going to be our problem. Yeah, it's either going here or going here. More likely coming in the centre. 
And then his king can come in here and take this pawn. Come here. Yeah, there's not a right lot for us to do. Damn, bishop. Could attack. Boom. Take. So give the pawn back. Not going to make any difference. This king's just in a nice position to come either there or there. moving quick so it looks like they've got it sewn up it's coming this way isn't it again it can come this way it's tapping the bishop his way around gets a check gets the pawn Ooh, sad times no matter where i go gets a fork on the bishop then we get zugs wanged here to attack the pawn still not going to work even if we're taken no it's not going to work rubbish bishop rubbish 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 Try and make it do something. Night, night. It's probably this one because this looks like it's getting closer in. But we're just trying to block it off by putting the bishop here because it's it can't do anything there. So maybe it's changing, changing its trajectory and coming this way and putting a check on the king. So if we did push, he comes down, puts the check on the king. He wants his king in here, doesn't he? We attack the knight. There's some funky whirlwind thing. I'm going to attack the pawn. It's not this, that's the only spot we go down. We go down. He has to move, but then he changes his mind and goes this way. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's take. So what's it got here? This, the bishop's doing the protection of this area. But I'm going to run out of moves, aren't I? That's the thing. Yeah, I'm going to run out of moves because he's going to go there. Put a check on the bishop. Just guarding these. Is this one in this pawn? Is there another way? Is there another way? Tantalizing? No. Nope. Goes round, goes round, starts thinking outside the box, coming round. Ah, there we go. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Round, round, round. Tucks the pawn. He's going for it. I don't think there's anything we can do because if we move the king here, mind you the bishop is protecting the pawn it's just that the king will be able to come and disturb the, the bishop so he's gone there so if we move the king one this king decides to come down maybe 
He continues with the knight move. We move the king across to protect the pawn. His king comes down to get the bishop. Yeah, the bishop's going to run out of spaces. And then they'll be able to take the pawn. His king comes down to attack the bishop. And our king can't really move from this spot. We can go back one. Oh no, we can't because the king's there. Ooh. Go there and then his knight comes to the golden square. Wherever it is. Here. King comes down to attack the bishop. Bishop moves. Oh, bishop moves up. And the knight goes, well, I'm taking your pawn. And if your king takes my the knight, then the king will take the bishop. And they've got a passed pawn, which I cannot do anything about. Oh, yeah. That's, um, that's very, yeah. So we're not getting anywhere. Can't even do this. We're not getting anywhere. King's just going to come and spoil the party. Lost the pawn. Going to have a passer. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, they've offered a draw. I'm going to take the draw. I am going to take the draw. Yes. Let's have a look at the analysis. It is showing a draw.